Well, how about we look at the thing, movement that never fucking dies. That the one thing that it has held, that will last longer than the fucking Roman Empire. Pissing Gamergate. It's back, bitches. <laughs> What's upset them this time? <laughs> it's, it's like the return of the Nazis. It's always Gamergate. It's just, it's a constant boogeyman for these people. Which is amazing, because it's not what they think it is. <laughs> I, I genuinely think these people think that the Nazis won. I, yeah, I th and that they are Gamergate. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we will find a way to subvert your young, you see. Yes, we have experimented with the way of using gaming. <laughs> <laughs> well, they we do will create a new legion of zombies. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they did. I believe we called them the woke. <laughs> I was mainly referencing zombie Nazi army or whatever it is. <laughs> uh, so what has the big bad boogeyman done this time? Well, the big well, bad... I mean, what hasn't it done is really Did the question. Did they ask for ethics in journalism again? No, worse. They decided that, that they were going to stop supporting Call of Duty after Call of Duty over a bunch of LBGBT... Pedophiles. You can't even say it anymore. Uh, I, I, I was trying to come up with a good pun, but I just couldn't. <laughs> you mean bacon, lettuce, tomato? Yeah. LGBTQ. The BLT yeah. movement. The, the, the pedophile gateway movement. <laughs> because... Oh, LGBT. Let's gay bash them queers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Elliot Dean proves. <laughs> yep. Well, this clip can't go on YouTube now. Oh yes. <laughs> uh, oh, your trim. Sorry. Yeah. Thank goodness for post editing. But so no, some the idiots. So someone who's somehow involved in the Call of Duty influencer slash content creator sphere. Oh, they were a racist, Nazi, homophobic, transphobic, evil, evil person. Because they said something along the lines of "Leave the kids alone." Oh. So Call of Duty removed, oh. removed their gear packs slash I don't know what the fuck it was. Something to do with them that was in the game, and people yeah. have gone, "Well, fuck you, Call of Duty. We didn't really care that much anyway." So people have went, "Well, actually, we kind of would like you to leave the children alone." Yeah, basically, <laughs> basically. <laughs> Oh dear. So yeah, they're really, really, really upset that they're being asked to leave the children alone. Which is yeah, telling, yeah, I think. Genocide. Yes, asking them to not rape children is a genocide. Yeah. Something suspicious about that. Mm. It's uh, kind of questionable, yeah. It's always weird, though, when you, when you say things like, you know, please don't groom children, and then you get called an anti-woke homophobe, transphobe, whatever, and you're just like, well, well, that's, that's a little bit of a tell, isn't it? A lot, you all mean, I have to do is stop grooming children. You, you mean how, <laughs> just like how DeSantis wants to expand the death penalty to child molesters and he's being called transphobic? Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of a Max yeah. Cross moment, isn't it? It's like we never mentioned trans people, but now you bring it up. Yeah. <laughs> You know, we didn't say anything about them, but now that you've mentioned it, <laughs> yeah. I, I think they called him homophobic or something, or both. I'm pretty sure both, yeah. Yeah. And uh, I, I, I personally find it absolutely hilarious that in less than 10 years, the word Nazi has lost its sting, and now everybody has to be a white supremacist, no matter what color they are. Including the Muslims and the Jews and the Asians. Oh, yep. yeah. <laughs> that bollocks. Everyone's really a white supremacist. Where I mean. they just like, you know, they push the guy over the line to the right and the right picks him up and is like, you okay, buddy? <laughs> yeah. Okay, don't worry. They all think we're evil here. It's cool. We and know you, you're not a Yeah, dick. and the left are like, how dare you hang out with them? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I'm just amazed that they haven't worked out that their purity circle jerk is just killing off their movement. Uh, don't, yeah. I don't need to know this. Let wow. Never interrupt your enemy when they're making this. <laughs> yes, Sun Tzu says. Wait, wait. I was going to say, have we done the Sun Tzu podcast yet? <laughs> Stop! <laughs> no. When your no. enemy tells you who they are, listen. Yes, believe yeah. them. But speaking of, 
Shots. Coming soon, TM to the Sons of Chardelay Book Clubs. Sun Tzu is the art of war. And it's going to be mean as all fuck because you can't take that seriously. Uh, so, fucking Rolling Stone, you know, the it, absolute psychopaths that nearly drove a bunch of kids to suicide. Yeah, I mean, they lost half their fan base with kids' suicide. It was awful. Mm hmm. Just like the trans losing half their base to suicide. No? I thought it would be 90%, not half, but. Oh, mm, yeah. Well, it's like 40%, then. Yeah, so they say. Uh, da, 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 da. So, the, the, another day, another multi billion dollar corporate giant in the crosshairs of the anti woke right. Yes, and you may have noticed that the last several times there that we shot them so bad, they're still bleeding. <laughs> Metaphorically. <laughs> Well, we know they're not very good at treating open wounds. They so just put a fucking expander in there to keep it open. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, dear. Well, let's, let's not forget they're also allied with the people who thought you could turn a, turn a, a neck wound. I'll <laughs> 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 uh, never forget that. I was the whole Chaz, the Chaz Chop thing. I saw someone, uh, there was a clip going around online of how someone had gotten wounded, had, had gotten cut on the neck. And someone yelled, get a tourniquet, get a tourniquet. And I'm like, oh, you guys don't know how this works. <laughs> you, you mean the Chaz, yes, where, the, where, where, the ch where, the ch where the Chaz security committed more police brutality than every other <laughs> police agency in the United States put together. You yes. like shooting a bunch of innocent teenagers. Yes. I, I personally love the part how it was a, a communist collective that immediately went African warlord. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love how it, the communists took over, kicked out the police, and then immediately shot some black teenagers. Yep. <laughs> Up against the wall. Yeah. Good old commies and the death squads. Like fucking clockwork. So, right. <laughs> a base tape in live shows. That's like fucking perfect. Yes, that comic. Yeah. Oh, dear God. Oh, uh, what has he done? He's gone and found the stone tosses, hasn't he? Yeah, uh, oh, just probably. absolutely spot on. And Shrim's just pinned it. <laughs> <laughs> As with many of these stories, the inciting controversy, they say, is ridiculous in mind. Is it? Is it really? Nick Merckx, who they immediately dox, a streamer who came up playing games including Call of Duty, blah, 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 blah. Earlier this year, partnered with the brand to launch his own skin in the game, fans could purchase these assets to play the game as his custom character. There are strong opinions in the game world about these influencer partners, blah, 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 blah. The real drama erupted a week after the bundle went on sale when the guy tweeted in apparent support of anti-LGBTQ protesters who fought pedophile supporters in Glendale, California. But he didn't. He didn't even do that. He even clarified no. later on. Yeah, apparently all he said was leave the kids alone, wasn't it? Yeah, and that's directed at both parties. Like, you guys shouldn't be outside of fucking school having fights. So yeah, so aside from this that thing that didn't happen, so, do, 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 so they've also said, replying to an uh, esports broadcaster, Chris Puckett, who shared a video of the chaotic brawl, says, let people, let people love who they love and live your own life. The not insane guy says they should leave little children alone. That's the real issue. Oh yeah, that's totally fucking siding with the fighters. Yep. <laughs> yeah, apparently you're no longer able to be neutral on an issue anymore. Yeah. Well, the next day, Activision removed the products from their stores and Call of Duty Twitter account seemed to confirm the decision was connected to the comment. Yes. And of course, um, yeah, Tim Pool, the famous right winger. Libs of TikTok, the other famous right winger. So what have we got? So basically they waffle crap, talk about how the evil right wing have kicked the crap out of Bud Light, Disney, Target and Chick-fil-A. So we've got Tim the Beanie Pool. Yes, indeed. He responding to the Call of Duty announcement saying Call of Groomers. Libs of TikTok who tweets that Call of Duty just removed Nick Merck's opera button because he tweeted leave little children alone. And of course, Call of Groomers is now trending. Yeah. Call of Groomers. Well, it seems deserved. Yep. Yeah. Oh, the quartering. Uh, because the quartering's such a famous right winger. Yeah. And they're just waffling about LTL. BBTQ. Could they have not gotten an actual right winger? But it just it just makes me laugh when they're just like, don't groom children. How dare you be anti LGBTQ? Indeed. Okay. Yeah, as Little Grey Martian says, call of diddling. The, uh, <laughs> the middle story there in the related section says that the right boosted trans hate and ran up their follower counts. So we know what we have to do. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, that, that is the trick. <laughs> yeah. 
it's weird how apparently being anti-grooming children is a popular stance, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> <laughs> it's almost as if, I don't know, destroying innocence is something we as a society generally dislike. Yeah, it's... it's weird, huh? Yeah, which is why they're so desperate to get rid of society. That's the best of it is, like, nobody really gave too much of a shit about people doing their own thing, like, transing themselves as adults for decades. And then suddenly they start pushing it into schools and all these trans bigotry rises. Yeah. Weird that. So I had to actually do a search for the word gaming gate to see what bullshit they're pushing. So the blowback, of course, follows the script of the past years, the increasingly extreme anti-LGBTQ retiring. Oh, you mean the increasingly extreme leave the kids alone, you dirty fucking pedophiles rhetoric. However, it also echoes the, uh, echoes the old Gamergate narrative. What? Stupid people are doing evil things for money? That narrative. Or, or do you mean the ga media lying about gamers? Yeah, that actually sounds more accurate. I don't even know how they're saying this is related to Game of Gay, because at least the journalists weren't diddling children. Eh. We didn't have to yell at them about children. We were just like, could you have some ethics, please? Yeah, you it's just literally... that you're fucking the person that you're writing about. We're like, like we just want you, you to be honest. Honesty. <laughs> oh, we can't be honest. Honest is evil. <laughs> if, if they did just included a little bit of, uh, in the byline of, <laughs> I have previously fucked this person. <laughs> It wouldn't have been a fucking problem. We would have laughed and called them idiots, but... I may be biased because of a personal relationship with this person. Also, her boyfriend doesn't know. <laughs> but please don't tell her boyfriend. <laughs> uh, well, well, it's not like it, they care cuckoldries are popular on the left. Uh, but it, it, it does seem to well, be... I could tell her boyfriend wasn't very amused. Mm. <laughs> Especially yeah. considering he wasn't the only one. <laughs> it, it, oh, is that why she tried to drive him to suicide? Uh, I think not. I think there was uh, that was before that, wasn't it? Well, yeah. she tried. No, uh, but those that collection of evil, heartless cowards drove several people to suicide, especially Zoe Quinn. Uh, do you think he went further right wing after his experiences with her? He probably turned gay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, big tower. I was thinking, yeah. Mm. So yeah, I, th this is clearly just throwing in buzzwords for clicks because they just know that the retarded lefties, get in all their stupid journo circles, are going to go game again, game again. We lost game again. We got a click. <laughs> yeah, it's got nothing to do with game again. Game again was was aimed primarily at journalists who couldn't be honest about like who they were writing about. Yeah. Uh, you mean like Rolling Stone? <laughs> okay, you're shilling this game. It's a really shitty game. As it as mm. it is the best thing that was ever fucking released. It's almost as disgusting. It's not as happening. On it, and then they they open it and they're like, "What is this shit? And why is this? Why are the journalists promoting it? Oh, they were fucking the developer. Yeah." You like Somebody got their cock sucked. Yeah. That's there something why you... my money's been wasted. Wasn't there something with YouTube where if you, dec you know, are for some reason benefit from something, you know, you're invested in a company, for example, and then you promote that company, you have to disclose that, you know, that's basically all we were asking for. Yeah. We have that on YouTube now as standard. No one quite fucking bats our eyelid about it on YouTube for that. Yep. Well, but YouTube will actually put a thing up on the screen like includes paid promotion. Yep. And in fact... That's actually by law in the in in several countries, especially the UK. If you are, have a financial or otherwise beneficial relationship with a company, you must disclose it. But for some reason, that's fucking different for journalists. Mm. Well, journalists are allowed to break the law and you know actually stalk people and do all sorts of shits, and they get away with it because they're the press. Yeah, and just mm. dox people like lives of TikTok. Yep. But I don't see how they how they think that this is in any way related. Like saying, okay, well, if that's this company's values, we simply won't buy any more stuff from them. Well, th th this the is their pathetic. This is their pathetic attempt to connect the two. It echoes the old gaming gate narrative, a pastime regarded as dudish. Disco, sorry, I've got bad news. You're a dude, and heteronormative. <laughs> 
Resistant to any incursion of outsiders, now recognized as a diverse set of fans. No. You, nothing is more assault. Nothing is more sexist than a salty leftist. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you mean like those pathetic losers that keep calling you a turf? <laughs> and a pick me. And a yeah. man. I've mm -hmm. got a man on all the occasions. Hey, you could just tell them that you're very pregnant for a man, but they'll probably accept that anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, they would too. You can no longer retreat into the sexist, murderous world of Call of Duty without risking the sight of a rainbow flag a gang incredibly mad that gay people exist, even online on a virtual battlefield. So close. So fucking close. Without risking the sight of a rainbow flag. Yeah, it's almost as if rainbow flags have no fucking place in Call of Duty. It's Call of Duty, not Call of Dudes. <laughs> Call of Call Duty. Duty. <laughs> Duty. <laughs> <laughs> They're starving. Uh, so this article, it's a useful case study in the projection that underlies the past decade of right-wing resentment. What? Projection? Are you high? <laughs> For all the times that side claims liberals and leftists need the coddling comfort of st safe spaces to operate in society, conservatives are the ones predictably incensed by the appearance of anyone else, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so righties are annoyed that propaganda is being forced down their throats, therefore that's as bad as leftist demanding actual literal safe spaces in fucking public. Ah, oh, god, the left are weak and pathetic. Uh, Ardent would like to know what a pick me is, Disco. Yeah, I've heard the term, <laughs> but I don't know if I know what it means. I'd like to hear your definition. It seems to be the uh, radical feminist's version of an Uncle Tom. <laughs> Uh, I always thought Pick Me was just like the girl that wants to get all the guys' attention by pretending to be as much like them as possible. That's what it used to be. I think That's it's an, I it's another subvert <laughs> it's another subverted term. Because I think yeah, it's oh, basically God. like you you're not you're not agreeing with the narrative, which is whatever radical feminist nonsense we're speaking today. That's but the only idea. reason that you cannot be agreeing with the narrative because we're so right is because you want all the men to fuck you. You're just desperate, so you're just saying yes. You're being a yes person. Yeah, basically. <laughs> See, I thought it was, which is what confused me when I started seeing women on the right getting called pygmies. What I thought it meant was... Basically, the woman who hangs out with the dudes, and we all know the type. Oh, women are too girl, women are too much drama. You know that kind. The ones that hang around with the dudes and go, "Oh yes, 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 I like guy things." I thought that was a pick. Oh me. yeah, we used to call those boy mollies when I was a kid. <laughs> See, uh, Molly means something else entirely. <laughs> I'm um, guessing yeah, different slangs. I, but, uh, when I hear Molly, I think of the drug. Yeah, I was thinking. Uh, that okay, that's uh, M A U L Y. Molly. Right. Fair enough. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I was actually writing an article for the Sultans about pygmies, uh, or the, the kind of uptick and using it as an insult. I should finish. <laughs> I, I'd like to see that. That sounds interesting. <laughs> Stormy says they used to call them whoremongers where she was from. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Uh... Uh, hello, Bobcat. Nice to see you. <laughs> Hey, Bobcat. Yeah, it does seem to be just a way of kind of dismissing anybody who who's not agreeing with the narrative by just being like, well, you don't count because you only hold this opinion because you want their attention. It's basically no true Scotsman, but for feminists. You're not a real whammon, which is inter odd because I thought anyone who identifies as a whammon was a real whammon. Well, apparently yeah. not because the amount of times that I got called a man... Because I was just like, feminism made this bitch crazy. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, literally, if you're standing in car parks screaming at random strangers because they've said, excuse me, you, I, I think I, I'm within my right to call you insane. I, I do think they should first bring back uh, asylums and shock therapy. <laughs> Unironically, yes, to the asylums. Only a man would hold that opinion. I, I didn't hear either of you then, because both Arden and Disco were talking at exactly the same time. Yeah, it was a weird cacophony. But yeah, apparently that was enough to get called a man over and over, because apparently only a man would hold that opinion. But and it, I'm like, but 
bitch was being crazy. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Don't know what to and tell I, you. Oh. You can see her. She's screaming at people. I was, I, was I, I was saying that everyone should be issued their own taser so that they can administer their own <laughs> therapy to people. Yeah. Uh, it, it is telling, though, about lefty types that I call disco man because to them, being misgendered would be a fucking fatal insult. Like, you're a man. <gasps> No, That's I'm dying. I'm melting. <laughs> That's not my products. <laughs> <laughs> As they fucking melt it's like the witch. <laughs> You're a dude. It's me. <laughs> to be fair, I wouldn't be surprised if you splash them with water that they melted, considering how unclean they are. Oh. <laughs> you mean they're no, held together it, it by it dirt and patchouli? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh god, it's easier than that though. Just just hand them a set of work boots. <laughs> uh, uh, monkey says that he was smoking. Pick me as a female simps. The accusation is that you'll sell your dignity to get the attention of the opposite sex. So yeah, uh, so yeah. right, so a man in jail. That's how I understood it. <laughs> that's not how they're using it no. now. How yeah, that, that's that pretty much all of the it. girls that watch the Lotus Eaters, apparently. If you enjoyed this segment from the Sons of Chardonnay podcast, please consider joining us live exclusively on rumble.com slash C slash Sons of Chardonnay. A special thanks to our subscribe star supporters who you can currently see scrolling past on your screen.